Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss the MATLAB code, how to write the MATLAB code for discrete time Fourier transformation. In my previous video, I have shown you how to write the MATLAB code and plot the magnitude response of continuous time Fourier transformation. Just we have to modify that code a little bit so that we can get the uh, code for plotting the magnitude response of discrete time Fourier transformation. So what is the formula for discrete time Fourier transformation? I hope you all know x of omega is equal to summation over n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n e to the power minus of g omega n it has period of 2 pi. All right. So now same formula we have to implement in MATLAB. Three points to be noted. Number one, this should be discrete. See x of n that is discrete value sequence. Okay, not continuous signal. Number two point is obviously this is periodic of periodicity 2 pi because e to the power minus j omega n is periodic with periodicity 2 pi and number three point is here we have to multiply and the integration is given uh, sorry summation is given previously is continuous time Fourier transformation here integration was there uh, when integration was there we have used trapeze comment trapz to uh, get integration in MATLAB here summation so we have to simply use some comment which we have used to calculate the energy of a signal recall our previous videos where there we have used the summation by SUM so the code is quite simple simple 10 line code CLC clear all close all if you want you can write warning of also n equal to minus 20 to 20 here I am defining the time sample range for for which I want to define my signal x of n is equal to cos 2 into pi into 0 0.2 into n cos 2 pi fn or cos omega n whatever you say then omega range I am defining minus pi to pi with incrementation of 0 0.01 being very small increment why because the DTFT in uh, time domain it is discrete but in continuous domain it is con uh, in frequency domain it is continuous with respect to omega right so that very small increment I have to give to uh, denote that this is continuous signal and then one for loop I am using for computing DTFT for a range of omega and then x omega i equal to sum xn dot star exp of j minus of j omega n same formula x of n e to the power minus j omega n why dot star because here this particular n is basically one sequence in our this particular case so that I have to give uh, here dot star because exp is going to be one sequence right and x of n is also one sequence you can see cos 2 pi fn okay which is one sequence so in this case we can calculate the dtft value for one for different values of omega to calculate i am using this particular for loop that's all and then plot omega comma abs of x of omega okay control a evaluate selection if i do i can get the spectrum for cos magnitude spectrum for uh, discrete time Fourier transformation of cos omega n okay all right so i hope the concept is clear to you the code is very simple that's what you should understand that you know the formula how to write the matlab code simple comment sum we have already uh, seen this particular comment also while calculating the energy of a signal that's what you have to use in proper place okay that's all for my this video. I am going to post the same code in the description box. If you want, you can check there. Thank you for watching.